First, I would like to thank our doctors, professors, and surgeons who taught us every single word and who gave us a chance to stand in front of them and discuss different topics. Thank you, Wantahi. So, our topic today is body paper syndrome. Uh, let me first introduce myself. I'm Ahmed Khalifa, six year medical student, Dr. Ayla Rumat Kisei, and I'm just the representative for this presentation, and it was done by the contributions and efforts of all our team. So, who are body packers? Body packers are people who illegally carry drugs within their body cavities in order to pass from, in order to go from one country to another country of destination without being detected, to escape being detected. So they carry those packages within their body cavities. Mainly, the packages are made of condoms, which are easily available on the market, and higher quality packaging materials are also available, but less common here in Egypt. So after they swallow those packages. They take a constipating agent, such as dopamine or diphenoxyl, in order to prevent the passage of the cargo rectally. Then when they reach their country of destination, they take an animal or lactose to post the cargo. A historical hint about the event. The first case was reported in 1973 in Toronto. A patient with a small bowel obstruction, which developed 13 days later after he swallowed a condom filled with hashish. Federal agencies reported that the body packing has been increased recently, specifically after the events of December 11, 2001. So, the condition is totally illegal. How do those body packers present to the seek medical advice? Three main presentations. The first presentation is drug induced toxic effect, due to the rupture of the package and the leakage of the drug. The drug that are common to be consumed are cocaine, heroin, tramadol, and hashish. Specifically here in Egypt, the tramadol and hashish. Patients with cocaine intoxication will present with anxiety, um, seizures, hypertension, tachycardia, dilated pupils, and even cardiovascular collapse. On the other hand, patients with tramadol intoxication will present with uh, fatigue, drowsiness, bradycardia, hypertension, and plus also seizures and coma. Second manifestation is the intestinal obstruction due to large quantities of swallowing. The intestinal obstruction has its main four cardinal signs: the abdominal distension, the colic pain, the obstipation, and vomiting. Um, and the condition can be complicated and presented with the generalized peritonitis due to the perforation of the perforation of the intestine is the is the, is the condition which is leakage of it. Medical assessment after detection and arrest. Is another, is another method for to seek medical advice after they being detected. So the risks to the body factor depend upon four main points. The nature, the size of the, the nature of the drug, the size of the packet, the integrity of the packet material, and the location in the reaction. First is the nature of the drug. Regarding the drug, cocaine, heroin, travel, or hashish, and the more important point, does this drug have a static antidote or not? So cocaine has, now it's okay, cocaine has no antidote, why heroin has a specific antidote which is now a drone. Tramadol has no specific antidote, however, we can give a small dose of naloxone, a small dose of naloxone and particulates which will reduce the potential risk. The second risk is size of the packet. The larger the packet, the more the patient is likely to develop in this line of obstruction. Number three, the integrity of the packing material. As we mentioned previously, the high quality packing material are less liable to rupture and thus the patient is less liable to develop intestinal of strength, uh, drug intoxication. And number four, the location of the GIT, which will give us a clue as a surgeon about the size, about the size and the intrusiveness that will be needed. Approaching the patients. Uh, it is important to mention that when you take history of this patient, a detailed history taking from those patients is quite difficult, as those patients are mainly historians, dishonest, and many cases when you see them, they are even unconscious. This is a grading system for our patients, depending on the symptoms and signs, from grade 1 to grade 4. Grade 1 are asymptomatic, grade 2 with symptoms with no signs, grade 3, say, grade three with mainly symptoms and signs, but they're still, the packing material is not, the package is not ruptured, and grade 4 with severe distinct obstruction and drug intoxication. The management of our patients. Has any other disease, lab investigations, and radiology? The lab investigations are really directed to find the metabolites of the drug involved, the urine and the blood of the patient. 
and we detect to the effect whether metabolic acidosis or alkalosis. The imaging modality, plain X-ray and CT scan. Plain X-ray is used as a screening tool for a rapid diagnosis, and the CT scan is more sensitive and specific regarding the diagnosis. Those are different imaging modalities. The first view is a CT scan surgical view showing the multiple packaging residues located in the spinal loop of the patient. The second view is an abdominal X-ray showing also the multiple packages. Regarding the management of those patients, we can classify them into two main groups, asymptomatic and symptomatic high patients. The asymptomatic patients are first treated conservatively for how long for five days. We start by giving them activated charcoal and doing a whole bar, a whole bowel irrigation in order to pass their carborectal. And if you know the drug, the intoxication occurs, case of the if you know the drug, you have to give the specific antidote. Patients presenting with coma or manifestations of intestinal obstruction should be resuscitated, and this is an immediate indication for laparotomy. So the surgical rule here, the first is the indications for the surgical management. Number one, the intestinal obstruction. Number two, the generalized peritonitis. Number three, the drug intoxication. And number four, failure of the medical treatment for the asymptomatic patients after five days of privacy. The aim of surgery is to induce a total clearing of the, in case of drug overdose, to release the intestinal obstruction. And the surgery done is laparotomy by midline insertion. This algorithm can summarize the patients with body package. If uh, regarding if you have physical examination done and it's positive, you start doing X-ray, which is 88% specificity, and toxicology testing, which has a 48% specificity. If the clinical picture, X-ray, and toxicology records are all positive, then this is a body pattern, a body pattern, and you have to evaluate the symptoms. If the clinical picture is positive, the toxicology records, that means patients are positive, and the X-ray is negative, then you are suspecting the case, but you are not still confirmed the diagnosis. So you have to confirm the diagnosis by doing a CT scan. CT scan records, if they are positive, then this is a body catcher. If, if they are negative, then this is a drug addict, but not a body catcher. So evaluating the symptoms, as we mentioned previously, the two groups of patients, asymptomatic and symptomatic, drug intoxication and intestinal obstruction are both indications for lava. While the asymptomatic patients who start initially for five days from their treatment, if the fact is spot in the stool, then discharge the patient. If there is no response or even clinical deterioration of the condition, then laparotomy is indicated. It is very important to mention that before discharging the patient, two normal packets, phase two, and a normal X-ray abdomen are recommended to confirm total clearance of the drug. So the case presented to the GIT department, GIT unit. 37 years old, male, unmarried, unemployed patient, came to the emergency department of the GIT surgery, complaining of a foreign body injection 25 days ago. However, he is completely asymptomatic with a normal appetite and a normal now heart. Radiology reviews the presence of a large size, male shaped foreign body within the intestinal loops, the CT scan, and the body within the stomach, in the, within the stomach in the CT scan and the abdominal x-ray. Personal management starting by nothing for order and total parental nutrition. And a trial of on-table endoscopy was, it was, was, it was, was done to remove the foreign body. However, the large size of the foreign body and the multiplicity favored the to be done. This is the midline incision done. And the stomach is open during biotherapy. And the foreign bodies are removed from the stomach. Large size, multiple. And as we mentioned, the packages are many meter candles. And uh, some patients wrap it with directed by an adhesive tape to avoid being digested within the stomach. This is the adhesive tape. Regardless of all this quantity, the patient was still asymptomatic and with a normal bad habit either. 
So the take home message is body packing is an immediate medical and surgical problem. There are still large numbers of body packers, however, the rupture of the container is still quite bad. Static antidote is an invigorant part of the management, if available and if you know the drug. Physicians should be well aware that laparotomy could be a life saving procedure when the container ruptures. Thank you very much.